This is the new Elgato 4K60 Pro. This is the uh, second version of this. Some places are calling it Mark II. Some places are calling it version two. I don't think Elgato actually has a designation last I knew, but it is the uh, the smaller, newer version. Um, I picked this up a couple days ago after kind of deciding I needed it. Um, my uh, I've got several Elgato HD60 Pros. They're great capture cards, but with my ultra-wide monitor, and with gaming starting to move a little more to 4K, I decided I wanted to be able to capture that. I don't do a lot of it. I very rarely do 4K. Um, but now that my main gaming monitor is, my, for my personal system, is a uh, uh, 2560 by 1080, 144 hertz ultra wide, <clears throat> I decided this was something I would definitely benefit from. Um, I didn't pick one up until just yesterday because I was waiting for one at the price I wanted, which I got a pretty good deal on this. I picked this up at a local pawn shop for uh, $145. I think it was $160 with tax. Um, I was I was kind of impressed. They had advertised it for $160, and when I realized it was a pawn shop, I uh, I messaged them and I said, "Is it $160 out the door, or is it going to be $160 plus tax?" And they said 160 out the door. And then when I looked at my receipt uh, as I was walking up, I realized, yeah, they actually had eaten the tax on it, which was about 10% in the area I was in. So that was definitely a nice uh, nice touch for them to get it out the door at the price they had listed. Um, it's the first time I've ever done that, actually. I, almost always the deals are, are from private sellers. I've never dealt with a pawn shop before. But uh, anyway, so we're going to do a quick unboxing on this. I'm going to do some video stuff later, um, but this is just going to be a quick unboxing just to show you what it comes with. So, this time I'm ready with my razor blade. I always forget the razor blade. So, let's uh, see how intact we can keep the box so I can use it later. Oh, no. Okay. <clears throat> funny because I had offered a, another guy on uh, on offer up who had one of these in his system he had a, a grossly overpriced system and I figured I'd offer him like a, I think I offered him hundred and seventy dollars and he basically told me to go screw myself and then I picked this one up brand new in the box for ten dollars less than what I had offered that other so I can get that uh, can't really get it but oh there we go okay that's a little better my lights coming from the other direction so it kind of glints off the, the anti-static. Okay, so this is the capture card itself. Take this out so you can see it a little better. So that is the 4K60 Pro. It is the exact same size um, and same shape, too, as the uh, HD60 Pro, which is pretty cool. Um, it'll match. I've got four HD60 Pros in my computer already, um, so this will uh, fit perfectly with those. Um, so let's see what else we have here. Leave it where we can see it. Okay. Got a little quick start, little quick start guide. This is kind of a cool thing. I'll take a closer look at this layer. This is a uh, uh, low-profile bracket. Because <laughs> I definitely need an Elgato sticker on my computer. Comes with a HDMI cable, which is way too short for what I need, so I probably have no use for that. We got anything else here? What do we got? No, just packaging. Um, okay, put this back together. Put that back in there. So, let's go over a few things with the Elgato itself. So, notable features, 
It is PCIe X4, so you're going to want to put it in. Most uh, most motherboards don't have an X4 slot. They have X1s and X16s that are either wired as X8 or X16. So you're going to want to probably put it in one of the X16s. If you have a computer decent enough to run this, it really should have a second slot, um, except for a few specific exceptions. Um, it does have in and out, and my understanding is you can run uh, 4K into it, and then you can run it back out to your monitor. Um, I don't set them up that way. Uh, I've got, I mean, I guess it could make my life a little easier. I've considered doing it, but um, I've got uh, the monitors just cloned. So because I have so many different monitors, I just tell Windows to clone the one that, that I'm gaming on. Um, anyway, though, I, uh, this is mainly just for my, uh, my viewers on here. Um, those of you that are really looking for a, uh, a deep in-depth on this, there's lots of those. But I just wanted to show people my new toy. You're going to start seeing, for my, uh, my regular viewers who watch my stuff, you're going to start seeing 4K content. Um, you're going to start seeing ultra-wide content off the capture card, and you're going to start seeing 4K content every now and then, and occasionally 2K content. So that is what this is for. So uh, if you're new here, uh, go check out some of my other stuff. I'm going to be doing more and more of this stuff. I'm going to be doing, you know, that's what this is for. I'm going to be doing lots of, of, of pretty early release, you know, first day, game day releases, stuff like that, just like I did with Valhalla and... Uh, what was that game? Call of Duty uh, Cold War. Um, anyway, hope you guys find this interesting, and uh, thanks for watching.